Guys. <laughs> she might like you guys, but she loves me. I'm just letting you know right off the bat. That's what my husband thinks. <laughs> <laughs> you love him? Oh, but she does love me. She just. He's you know, got the it's a different kind of love, you know, she'll, 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 yeah, you know, she'll, <laughs> when we leave here, here yeah. when she leaves here, here she'll, kind of, she'll kind of bitch me out and beat me up out in the alley, so it's a, it's a tough love thing. There you go. <laughs> the kind of person people love to Between midnight and 7.30 Saturday night, Sunday morning. I had over 8,000. You got to step one of the step counter? Yeah, so in, in seven and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't pretty. I don't envy you girls because I see what you do there, and I'll tell you what, you guys run your asses off. You're not envy you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, we got to start the meeting. I don't know if I'm not sure if uh, Mike are coming or not, but uh, we'll bring the meeting to order. And this is a public hearing, and it is regarding an electrical uh, committee update and some possible rate changes. And I think what we'll do is Donnie being on the electrical committee, um, we will let Donnie kick it off and just explain to us what he's found out uh, at the last uh, Minnesota Public Hearing. Let's bring Bob up here. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Bob. Because I wasn't actually at the Minnesota Park when Bob was. Oh, like, okay. I could not attend. Okay, that's right. Mike. Okay. 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 Bob, can I ask you to do that shit? You like that up? Because otherwise people can't do it through the camera. Yeah, very good. Uh huh. It's a whole, it's a whole number of issues. Like this? Yeah, so you just turn so you kind of scan the camera a little bit. Why? I'm sorry. She really just table over my Like the table's kind of pushed that way. Okay, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, so we went to the municipal meeting. Again, include their Boswell. They're updating Boswell 4 now, so it's an environmental upgrade to meet the coal emission standards. As part of those uh, federal regulations, the regulations of the yep. whatever chemicals that are speeding all of the coal burning power plants. Okay. Um, they're still on their mandate to get to 25%, 2025, 25% of their electricity has to be generated from renewables. renewables. Right now they're actually at 80 percent coal, 20 percent coal. So they're pretty close as far as that goes. Um, yeah, in 2020 they've got a line that they have to build yet, but they're looking at picking up a lot of hydrogen power. Uh, what do you call it? Hydro. Hydro. Okay. From Canada. Okay. So they're actually working on getting the easements and accusations. So yeah, as far as that mandate goes, we think they're in pretty good shape. But nonetheless, they're still looking at a 6% increase. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I haven't had a whole lot of time to kind of uh, mull these numbers over a little bit uh, that we're looking at here. Uh, it's got to give us some information. And it's just a, kind of an interim uh, financial report uh, on our electric year to date. I know there's going to be a lot of things or some things that, that aren't going to um, play into this at year end. Um, number one, uh, Don had uh, kind of mentioned uh, something to me was the electrical rebate program. We have the commercial rebate program. Uh, 
extremely expensive. It has been the last couple of years. We're kind of hoping to get ahead of that um, that curve so those numbers actually start to come down a little bit as people <coughs> business update their electrical, um, you know, those rebates, that rebate program should start to come down in price, but I you still got a long way to go if we look at the businesses that are in town versus the businesses that um, have used the rebate program. So we, we still have a long way to go there. I know another thing that this probably isn't going to reflect as far as these numbers go is our what we're going to have for true up fees. Uh, I know that's not known until the end of the year. Uh, I think Minnesota Power has, has done a pretty good job at um, up to this date by estimating them numbers a little better than they were able to the first couple of years. Um, but that's still an unknown. So did um, we get the final bill yet? For the I'll come to this. It, well, yeah. if you look at your current changes page, it's twenty four ninety four, so twenty five hundred dollars. Then plus, they didn't have May and June. So right. We'll get that bill in, in July, so this number isn't accurate until we get May and June calculated from this variance column. number. Um, you know, the true up. On the true oh, up. the true up. The true up. Yeah. Toby. Yeah. yeah. We're up these dates. Okay. Toby actually don't even look at the variance with anything on here. It kind of just mixes us up. Okay. okay. Go to the chart. It's the third, fourth page in current changes. That's the true up in the first bullet point. Okay. So, like I said, that's we where we were at during the meeting in May. Um, oh. But they didn't okay. have May and June calculated on that amount. The Minnesota Okay. Yeah, they actually estimated May and June. So yeah, I mean, it's all an estimation. Real close. It's going to be close, but then Dan Travica stated that it's going to be different. I mean, it's it won't it's be not exactly. It, so. We should be within yeah. 500 bucks, so we're okay. I would think <laughs> we're only. Yeah. It, yeah, it should be. So that true up is not out of, as out of whack as it has been in the past. Seems like they're getting that closer. They, they are. are not, it's 2,500 instead of 55,000. The right. first year we got hit with it. Yeah. And then the, the next yeah. year after that, it was the other way around. Yeah, we got Right, they owe us a few. Yeah, 30 of those. Yeah. I think they, and they expressed that at that meeting, Bob and I were at that. They are getting their budgeting better. I mean, they, this was new to them too, you know, and it took them a while to get into the sink of it. Yeah, again, so what they're doing is a formula-based rate. So that rate that we pay, if they have a formula for it and they plug in their numbers, and at the end of the year, they estimate the rate from July 1st going to June 31st, June 30th. And then, like after June 1st, or July 1st, we'll get a, they'll actually have the actual numbers. Okay. And then, for the first half? Then they'll do that true up for the year. Okay, that, that is for the total year. Yeah, yeah. The year runs okay. from July 1st to June, June 30th. Okay. So as of July 1st, we'll start getting that new estimated rate. Where we'll see that six percent. That's why I say we need to well have the numbers here for public hearing. They think it might come on. We need to have our rate in place by the billing of July, or we're going to be behind the eight ball right away. And we did speak at the meeting too. If we could, if Nikki and I could have her on it, we can have two weeks, including Bob, just so we can get things updated in the software. I mean, it's not sure. a one day thing. Sure. It's going to take, or just give us some time so we can schedule it in. You know, we asked to, so that's why we scheduled this a little sooner. What exact date is the next billing cycle for the The 20th. Okay. July. Yeah. Okay. So we have to have, we should really we should approve it by July 1st. By the first meeting in July. Well, that's well, what. That's, what, that's <coughs> not that close for them yeah, to that's update. That's, that's going to be the 14th. 14th. Yeah, it's too close. We gotta, we gotta do it tonight so yeah. that they have time to get things in sync. Okay. We'll have to deal with that at the call. Um, I was looking at. Okay, and that number that we're looking at here with the current uh, price, that's not including any. This is just Minnesota Power's gig here. So, a couple questions. No, we can probably bank on. I 
I mean, just for argument's sake, maybe a three thousand dollar true up that we could end up paying for the year, and then we could also how is uh, the commercial rebate program going, Scott? Is anybody took advantage of that? Other than yeah, there's actually been uh, a number of people reds. Um, DH Auto, which is Chris Loisel. Yep. And then a couple of smaller ones. Um, as far as commercial end, we, we're trying to balance that. It's averaging, I think, the most expensive one was around 750 so far. So I mean, okay. And as far as you know, energy insights, once again, this was kind of that startup fee. Nikki and I are trying to handle all the residential stuff in house to minimize sure. cost there. Yep. And then as far as the commercial though, um, so if I if I'm not mistaken, you know, this eighteen thousand should be more estimated around that eight thousand. Okay. Um, so on the high end ten thousand. Yeah. So we get another ten on that we're looking at. So yeah, we're cutting it. We're actually starting to cut it pretty close. Uh, too close. Yeah. information we need to look at here during this meeting? Any input from anybody? Well, I just, I mean, you can look at percentages and people, I mean, I look at, wow, 10% increase. Now you bring it down to dollars and cents. It's going to be about $8.60 a residential household a month increase. Our commercial end is, is what's going to get hit hard in this. Or harder. I mean, there's a lot of differences because we've had done a lot of electric power. Um, you know, one thing that it's crucial that we all try and, and keep in mind is is that we have to continue to use our buying power as a city yeah. to give our residents cheaper rates. Right. If we can't do that at some point in time, it doesn't pay for us to have an electric So, um, you know, I, I think we need to uh, definitely keep that in the back of our minds that you know, we need to. Be able to do that. So, does anybody have any idea what kind of an increase you think we should make? I mean, we obviously can't vote on that here at this meeting with some numbers. We did some numbers. The numbers were 8% increase. There's 8 in here, there's a 10% increase. That was a slight. And looking at it too. Um, so there's the 8 and the 10% increases broken down into two categories with the power purchase. Um, 51 to 700 and then 701 to So okay. the 0 to 50 is included in the actual residential base charge. Um, so if you start looking into it, um, what effect it's going to have is based on 1,000 kilowatt hour. So for a residential to use 1,000 kilowatt hour, which is pretty high, um, you're looking at an increase in the Commercial. That's how the next big capacity is going to The rate structure is now based on three or four different from like zero to 500 kilowatts and then or put a, is that right Bob? Four. Yeah. And we're looking at changing that now to two different options. One of them needs to change because on the high end, actually we're selling, because if they, I have a user, we try to give them a break. Well, we're giving them such a break that we're not making anything. Yeah. But we got you got to remember, you know, when we're talking about making money on our electrical, I, th I think we have to remember that when we use that term, you know, we're all in this together. You know, the residents, the businesses, the city council, I, I mean, we're all in this. The reason our electrical needs to remain profitable is to you know, take care of the system. Too. Yeah, we, get, we have to, you know, we have to plan for upgrades. We have to pay salaries out of that. And, you know, we have a maintenance agreement. Yeah. So the power that needs to be paid, you know, um, and 
not to mention, you know, some of this money in the past, I know we have it in the last few years, but some of this money in the past we've used for some pet projects as, yep. as we've well. we've taken out of there. To, yeah. yeah. And that's also what helps keep the levy down, why we haven't well, had sure. to raise the levy. I mean, we, we have to do... Well, that's some that's pet projects, yeah. You know, um, but I mean, we haven't been able to do that in the last few years because... And then what did they tell us at the meeting, the, the next year? There's going to be more cost passed on to us in future years because of the renewable energy stuff. They are working a deal with uh, Ontario Power, Manitoba, and they're going to buy power out of there off of uh, water. Yep, that's uh, what off, Bob had said. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the hydro, yeah. So they feel like they're setting themselves up if they ever get to the point at the state or federal level where they can start doing these carbon regulations. They really start taxing, taxing program a little bit, taxing coal. Or, you know, well, really yeah, I mean, it, it's, no, it's no secret. I mean, you know, the federal They're gonna government, pay for it, our members, some of the members of the federal government want coal to be a past thing, you know, and uh, they don't view any of it anymore. I don't think it's clean coal, you know, uh, like it started out at. And, uh, you know, I guess if people think that their rates are too high, and I know there's, there is, uh, meetings that I've, I've heard on the radio that uh, Center Point is going through right now. Uh, they're talking, I don't know what type of increase they're looking at, but I have been hearing that on the radio that, you know, there's, there's uh, several groups of people who are getting together um, to try and get a hold of their state and federal representatives, you know, to try and head some of these, these costs off. So who knows how, you know, effective that's going to be or whatever, but I guess the bottom line is, I would certainly do the same thing. I will definitely get a hold of some of our state and federal elected uh, officials and express our concerns about where our electorate is, is heading in the future and where it's at now. I mean, we don't want to get to a point in time as to where people can't afford to have electricity, you know, and uh, uh, the costs are, are getting ridiculous now. Well, one thing I guess I looked at too, and I actually ran some numbers on it. If you look at the Minnesota power bills for the past four years, if you look at the month of June, it's gone up 27% over the last four years. The month of July has gone up 33%. August has gone up 24%. September has gone up 35 That's over the last four years. So if we're looking at an 8% increase potentially, we're just covering that curve yeah. to keep yeah. up with what they're doing. Yes, exactly. So, and that was one interesting thing, I guess, that I pulled off of it. So, yeah, you know, and then you have to ask the question too: if we're looking at going up eight percent just to cover the curve, and we're at a point now where it's not. But well, we're better, we're kind of we're, we're just kind of floating now. Now, now, now you can say yeah. progress yeah. folder. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. 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 it's in progress yeah. folder in that yeah. file yeah. in the back. Just yeah. Yeah. hopefully we can head it off and not have to do one next year. Well, I, you know, I, either that or uh, you know, if we come to the conclusion that we're going to have to raise the rates. I guess you know we're talking you know, eight percent or ten percent. You know, I know for some people and some businesses that's going to be pretty hard to swallow to maybe look at breaking this up just to cover next month off this year and next month next year. Well, I guess I don't know. That's up for debate. Or what you guys think? And, and the thing is, is they're still getting far cheaper to us because of our buyers more than they would outside the system. Right. So, right. Right. but where's that line? Where's that, that line? Should. That's what I'm, I really wanted to figure yeah. that I mean, out. That's kind of where I want oh, yeah. to I really yeah. wanted yeah. to figure that out before. Uh, before. See, I thought we had an extra month left. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's okay. so so really just, just, just to come here. Well, we're we're going to be play. behind the eight ball. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll see that. Yeah. You know, just because we're let's say we're 50, let's say we're fifteen percent under the competitor's price because we can offer a wholesale price. doesn't necessarily mean we can raise our rates fourteen percent and still no. stay under. We're not gonna do that, but right. I think that people will not, have to realize and you know, they brought it up at that meeting up there, you know. And I don't know whether they're trying to justify, but it is true. Everything we do in life, everything somehow or another, your household runs off electricity, your business, your whatever. And you know, what are you going to do without it? <laughs> well, exactly. It's something that you have to have the price. I mean, the question is, is how much can people afford to pay? You know, so. 
but, but the bottom line is that we're offering it for less than what the people get. Exactly. Market, that's where that's using something we our have to buying power. Yes, we have to do so that. We have got to do that. Like I said earlier, we can't afford it. I mean, and they brought up things at that meeting. I mean, the yeah, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't pay the boss for this. You know, looking at it. Bob, and I haven't been to one of those meetings. This is my first one, and Bob said, you know, in other years they kind of alluded to if any of the municipalities, and this year they came out and said it, if any of the municipalities are having thoughts about getting out of the electrical business, please contact us. We would be interested. And then in the same token, they went to the other end of the spectrum and said with all the renewable stuff coming, they... You know, if we wanted to put in a wind farm or a solar thing, and I really think tweaked on that solar thing, I think it's something we maybe sit down and talk to Dan about or whatever, that we could integrate into the system here. Maybe we end up producing a little power. I don't know. You know, there's different things out there. So but it's just on the radio today, East Little Falls is doing it. Solar. 27, what, what they say? Right down here. 27 acres? Is that what it is? Oh yeah, and I think that's something. I mean, it's something the cost is we can cost sure entertain and talk about it with yeah. them yeah. and see what the deal is. But yeah, it's pretty. It's actually, you know, um, it's something I, I, I guess I never want to turn down any option. And I know years ago you looked into that a wind turbine here and yeah, it was just, just astronomical. Uh, yeah, just no way we could make it feasible here. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's something I would definitely like to look at uh, coming up in a future workshop because I do have some ideas I've been building on what I'd like to talk to you guys about. Um, I don't know if we have time to get into it at, at this meeting or not. This um, is really a public hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, I think we'll do it. Four or five years, there was always a power purchase adjustment in there of half a, a 
essentially actually took that auger and added it into the tool session more confusing for the rest of the On the bills, it showed up as a PP, and people didn't want to go so you know what you call it. It's just, yeah. I think we're at the point where we can just look at rates once a year and see where we're at and adjust rates once a year. Have anything? If not, we'll bring to public hearing to close. Thank you. So you guys back here about uh, 33 <coughs> They went from eight years ago, they had five guys in public work. Now they have 42. Oh my they had to hire engineers, you know, on board, city engineer full time. Just, uh, it's, well, it's boom right. you know. Is that still and I don't know how. Just the back a little right. You know, I, 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 I wasn't that much bigger than us, really. 